And folks, don't click off and be like, that god darn Harley Day Rider, that little piece of garbage, he's riding that little piece of junk motorcycle. And uh, he's talking to us on the Harley Day Rider channel. There's a lot of reasons for that. And I'm not going to go into any of them right now. But I want to tell you this. Um, you know, if you think HDR misses HDR, I said, hey, that could be Himalayan Day Rider. And I said, you know what? That's pretty damn good thinking. Well, hey, YouTube. Harley Day Rider back at you once again. Your good old friend HDR. And I'm out here and I'm going to ride the West Virginia King Cobra. Now, if you've never ridden the West Virginia King Cobra, folks, it is on Route 88. So I will be going North 88. Um, I'm not really sure how long this road is. I should actually stop and turn on my, um, my, uh, my ride app and record the ride, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to uh, bust, uh, bust ass and take a ride here. So... But it's right here in the corner of uh, the sheet store and uh, this is leading you up to Ogilvy Park and folks don't click off and be like that god darn Harley Day Rider that little piece of garbage he's riding that little piece of junk motorcycle and uh, he's talking to us on the Harley Day Rider channel there's a lot of reasons for that and I'm not going to go into any of them right now but I want to tell you this um, you know if you think HDR misses HDR, I said, hey, that could be Himalayan Day Rider. And I said, you know what? That's pretty damn good thinking. But what I wanted to show you there is I wanted to show you. Now, you've probably, you might have seen me ride this with the Road Glide Ultra. I don't know. But I wanted to ride this on this motorcycle on an adventure bike just to see if I can. Uh, I'm sure I can have a lot better time on it. Uh, a lot more fun. Because this bike is very nimble, right? More nimble than the Road Glide Ultra, that's for sure. So that's why I'm out here on the bike today. Just taking a ride and uh, coming back. I had to pick up some highway pegs there from Be The Rider PA. And uh, if he sees this video, thank you so much for, uh, for uh, bringing those in for me from Michigan. And uh, I also want to give a special shout out and thanks to Bodine52 uh, for sending the highway pegs down to me. I appreciate that, my friend. And uh, I'm going to put those. Those are going on the Road Glide Ultra. The ones that are on the Road Glide Ultra may just be going on the Himalayan. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I want highway pegs on this thing too. So, now. So, anyway, hopefully everybody's doing okay out there today. Like I said, I just want to come up here and ride North 88, man, to take us home. I'm coming out of uh, basically Wheeling, West Virginia, is where I'm coming out of. Close to Ogilvy Park, and uh, I just wanted to take a little cruise out here today and bring you along with me. And if I uh, keep the bike upright, don't crash the bike, then we'll have a good time here. So, anyway, let's give you a little bit of inkling about why you may be seeing me on a different motorcycle on the Harley Day Rider channel. Well, that would be because I met this gentleman at VAM 23. His name was North by Southeast. North by Southwest. North by Southwest. I think that's it. North by Southwest. Anyway, very, very, very nice guy. He looked at me and said, HDR, how come when you got different motorcycles, you don't just put them on one channel? And I said, well, I didn't figure anybody would watch if I did that. And he goes, he said, I was one of your first 100 subscribers. And he goes, you know what? I would watch whatever you ride. He said, because it's not about what I'm riding, it's about the topic, right? The topic that we are talking about today is riding twisties, okay? And uh, I think it's a very suitable topic for the Harley Day Rider channel. It doesn't matter what motorcycle I'm on. This is just what I choose to take out of the, out of the uh, garage today. So anyhow, let's talk about that a little bit. So when we were in VAM recently, which is the Virginia Virginia area motorcycle meetup. We were with a lot of other YouTubers, and a lot of the YouTubers live in very flat areas of the United States of America. Okay, they don't have roads like this to practice on. Uh, twisty, bendy, windy roads, they don't have that to go out and play around on. So when they go to VAM, they get the pucker factor. Now, if you don't know what the pucker factor is, 
very simple to say. The pucker factor is they go, they hit a twisty, and they just go whoop, and they clam up. And they're grabbing the handlebars and their knuckles are all white. And they're sweating bullets. They get off the they get off the motorcycle at our stops. They throw their helmet down on the ground. They say, son of a holy, I can't, oh my god, I was so scared to go around there. Because they're not used to it. It's not because they couldn't do it. They did it. You know, when you tell somebody you're going on the, on the, um, let's see. When you tell somebody you're going on the crooked snake. When you tell somebody you're going on the back of the dragon. When you tell somebody you're going on the widow maker. When you tell somebody you're going on the rattler. Uh, or the tail of the dragon. If a road has a name, guys, it's going to have twists and bends in it. So be prepared for that road. Now, what everybody wasn't prepared for when we went up across that road on Friday or Saturday, talking about twisty roads, was they weren't prepared because it started raining. When any time it starts to rain, everybody gets a double pucker facker, right? Now both of their cheeks are puckered up and they're like, oh my God. I call it the sphincter reaction. Now the sphincter reaction is just this, okay? It's when every orifice of your body tightens up and you get scared to death. The worst thing you can do on a motorcycle is grip those hand grips, your knuckles are white, and you're putting too much pressure on the bars, and now you're going to have a problem, okay? You have to leave the handlebars very loose. You know, just keep your hands rested on, on the hand grips. Don't curl, don't knuckle them, and just, you know, just let it go. See, like this. When you're going into the bends, throttle up. No? Don't brake. Don't clutch. Never clutch in a bend, right? These are all things we learn in the in the basic rider course if you've ever taken one. And people say, well, HDR, you know, how did you ever get so good at riding bends? I think I suck. I don't think I'm good at all at it. Uh, the thing is, is I, since I get to do this kind of stuff all the time, I still want to stop at that barbecue place sometimes. The Route 88 Burgers. I think it'd be a really good. I should have stopped there now. It's two o'clock. I get a chance to do this whenever I feel like it. I get to jump on one of the motorcycles and come out here and just start riding twisties, right? A lot of you guys don't get to do that, so it's okay if you go, and it's okay. Hey, there's a house or so. Kind of. That's a shit-looking place. Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. Beep. That's a crap-looking place. It's okay, but when you get to Van, when you get to uh, Ohio uh, Windy 9, own, you know, when you get to them places, guys, don't be scared to say, hey, HDR, do you want to take a little run with me across the back of the Dragon or something? And get you familiar with it, right? Or HDR, you want to go on the Widowmaker or something and, and show me that road? I'll take you up there 101, right? So, and, and here's the worst thing. I had one, one man, I'm going to call him a young man. He's younger than I am. And what he did was he, he came up the back of the dragon. He probably, oh, he said, Paul, I'm so sorry, everybody. Oh, my God, I was so scared. And, and, and I'm sorry, and I didn't mean to be so slow. And you know what, guys? Screw that BS, okay? I tell everybody, ride your own ride. And I live by that motto. I ride my own ride, right? I was on road, rides, uh, roads with Road Glide Andy, right? He is a maniac in a motorcycle. He can go... 150 miles an hour around it. Well, he lives down here. He takes this road to go to work a lot. He used to. And it's a wonderful thing that he can do that. But I'm going to tell you what. On any road, any twisty road with his wife on the back, he's doing like 90 miles an hour. That's just him. Okay? Be the Rider PA is the same way. Right? If I want to gear down and take my time, then I gear down and take my time. So... All right, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I just wanted to give you a little insight of riding the twisties, folks. Ride your own ride. <laughs> Never apologize, especially when you're in a big group. Don't apologize, and uh, you don't have to do that, right? We're we're all novices, unless you're Mr. G and you live uh, right beside, you know, the back of the dragon. He can ride that all the time. So, but until next time, I'm not gonna babble on anymore. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this ride and let you guys go. So until next time, remember, guys. Ride your own ride. You be safe out there. Harley Day Ride, your girlfriend, ACR, will be down and out in the beautiful twisty roads here of Route 88. Up 
talk to you next time. Bye-bye for now, everybody.